What up, YouTube? Dark Thub coming at you from a Redstone World here, where we are going to go over serial data transmission. Okay, it might sound complicated, but it's uh, not as complicated as you might think. So, uh, the other day I was talking to my buddy, Redstone Wizard 1983, and uh, by the way, he's got something big in the works. Uh, well, he's got it done. It looks, man. You're going to like it. I recommend checking out his channel from time to time. You don't want to miss it. Uh, maybe subscribe, you know, and uh, hit that bell so you can see it when it comes out. Uh, I was, I, I, well, I'm not going to say anymore. I was, I was stunned, let's just say. I'm sure you will be too. But uh, so I was talking about serial data transmission and how I never saw it on Bedrock. And he pointed me to Mazuma Gaming. And Mazuma Gaming had something similar to this and this on his channel and I'm going to link his his uh, build in the description but uh, I had to do some tweaking to get it to work in bedrock but as you'll see we've got this code here on these lines well on these lines it runs over one line and now it is picked up over here so instead of binary where you need a single line for each each piece of information each bit you can send this all over one line quite useful alrighty so here I am way up in the sky so what we're gonna do is I'm making this 8 bit so we're gonna go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay now on top of all these we want a redstone lamp and then a lever on the front of these we're gonna come around to the back of them and we want to play sticky pistons facing away from them on each of these blocks. And then we'll put a block that is redstone conductive along each of these. And then above these guys, just like this, we want an observer facing down. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and do like that right there. Oh, whoa, we need one more. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. So then we're going to bring. Uh, yeah, one space there, and we're going to put another one right there. Okay. So then on each of these here, we're going to place a repeater on one tick. Make sure they're all on one tick. On this guy, we're going to place a repeater on two ticks. Okay. We're going to place another block here. Dust and dust. This block has to be redstone conductive. Okay. When I say a block, just assume that. Okay. We're going to put three blocks off this way. We're going to put a lamp on this one and a button on front of that block. And then we're going to place a sticky piston facing out of there with an observer pointing up, sticking off of it. Okay. So then we're going to come out this way. Okay. And three blocks underneath these observers you're going to want a line of blocks and it's going to want to come all the way to underneath that one okay and you're going to put a block on there and you're going to put dust all along this line next thing we're going to do is we're going to come out this way come down from here and we're going to place an uh, not an observer but a repeater on there Okay, so what I'm going to do from this point is I'm going to come out from here. Um, it doesn't really matter how far you come out from here. Just make sure that your line doesn't lose signal. Okay, I'm going to bring this over this way like so. I'm going to place one out to the side. I'm going to place another one out like this. And I want to grab out my regular pistons now. And I'm going to place a regular piston right there facing up. On top of that regular piston, we're going to place a block of redstone. Alright, now, we want to dust this line. And make sure that you have enough signal strength so you're not exceeding 15 blocks with the dust. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so 11, we're good. We're going to put a repeater here on one tick into a block up 
then another block up. We're going to dust those two, like so. We're going to place a block here and a block here with a repeater this direction and a comparator this direction. Okay, then we're going to place two blocks here with a repeater on both of them. And then right here, this repeater starts where we're going to collect the data. Okay, so we've got a block running into it. This is one, and for every one, you want two blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that should be all eight bits. And I want my lamp now. We're going to place that there. We can take that out. And we're going to skip one and place another one. And you should have eight by the time you're done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So now we want to place a repeater facing the same direction as those ones coming out of each of these. And then off of these blocks, we want blocks with repeaters facing into those repeaters. All right. So now over here, it's going to go right here, but it's going to be facing down. So we want to block above it so we can place this. So there we go. And then we're going to do the same thing on each of these, okay? So what we want is we want a sticky, or not a sticky, but a regular piston facing up on each of these with a redstone block on top of each of them. And that's going to lock all these repeaters. And then we're going to place... I'm going to put a line across this way. It's just easier for me. Uh, if, if you're better with the stick than I am, then you might be able to get these to... Uh, to go the first time, but uh, I, I have issues if I don't have something to put them on. So you place them how you want, but they got to be facing that direction. Okay, we're going to take out all these blocks. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to come out over here, and we want to place uh, not there, but th yeah, yeah, we want it to go down, and we want to have blocks all along the back of these and then from here we want to go up a block and out a block with that that repeater there or from the comparator want to place a dust here a repeater here and then dust all along this actually I think that'll work but I'm gonna place a block here instead yeah for good measure just just because I can and then in between all these we're going to place blocks over here we are going to extend this out this way with a block down okay we're going to put dust all along this you can place dust here but you don't really need it so I'm not going to put it uh, so that's that's most of it let's go ahead and grab out our observers and say from right here one out two, three, four, facing that way, okay, five and six, and we'll put a dust right here, and that should be your build, let's see, I think that's everything, so let's go ahead and test this guy and see what we got, let's give it one on each end, press the button, ta-da! <laughs> yeah, I like it. And one thing I realized about this is that in this version of the game, you can't do this in, in Java, and you can't do this in uh, PlayStation Edition. But uh, So in those editions, you have to have a space in between a repeater and another repeater. But in this one, you can just have a line of repeaters leading all the way. That would not work in in the other versions of the game, okay?
but it works in this version. Now I just want to say that figuring out the part with the observers here would have been a lot harder for me had I not seen a video on observers by the Bowtie Man. So I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description. Alright, so if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, yeah, it's been real. Peace.